Hi guys, welcome to Pixel Affair. It's Kobe here. So this is a quick video on a tutorial or a video I saw on YouTube by Entagma about this particular organic looking shape with these holes inside it, right? And um, like alien kind of looking rock, right? And he used geometry nodes to create this. So I decided to see how easy it is to create something like this in Cinema 4D using Cinema 4D capsules and sometimes even nodes. So, and also one thing, keep it procedural. So let's get into Cinema 4D and see how we will create something like this. So I'm in Cinema 4D and I'm using Cinema 4D R26, but you should be able to do this in Cinema 4D R25 upwards, right? So let's come in here and create our object, platonic. And because we are going to create a platonic and we can later use the setup in any other object, so it doesn't really matter. And let's come in up here to this corner to our set browser, click on it, and we come into the nodes um, tab here. You can see we have geometry modifiers. Let's click on that one. And the first thing we want to do is to, um, we have these triangles, we want to turn it into angles. So I want to chamfer the point. So I'll come in here and I'll create a chamfer. A chamfer. You can see we have chamfer somewhere here. I'll click and drag it from here and straight into our um, object manager. And you see it's, we have the chamfer in here. We can make it a child of the platonic and it works like a deformer, like you operate any deformer. So now you can see we've made it a child of the platonic and now it starts beveling. So basically the chamfer is sort of beveling either your edges, your polygons or, or your edges or your points. So you can see if I set it to you can see it's beveling the edges, right? But we want points, so I'll choose points and now it's beveling it. And now we can come down here and increase the size of our chamfer. And I think something like this is fine, right? The next thing is that we want to select all the polygons. So to do that, we'll come down here. You can see our geometry selection. And in there, we click on geometry selection. And in here, we have select here. We'll choose the select, click and drag it. You can click and drag all of these into your object manager. So I'll click and drag it in here and make it a child of the um, platonic after the chamfer. And what it's basically doing is that it's literally selected everything. And um, let's actually type in, in the selection string here. Let's type all, right? So what we've done is that we've selected every polygon that is on here, right? Even though we don't see, but that's what we've basically done. Mm. The next thing is we want to now insert sort of create inner extrude if you are using an older version of Cinema 4D so that you can later cut it out to create the holes that we saw in the initial um, uh, picture or video I showed. So I'll come in here, go back to the geometry modifier, or we can simply set insets, right? And you can see, um, I think, insets rather. So you can simply see insets, right? Click and drag it and directly make it a child after the select, right? And now you can see we have insects. So you can select the insect and adjust it how deep you want it to go in or something like this is fine. The next thing is we want to delete the inserted, like, you know, the polygons that it's created. So it's simple, we can search for delete. And you can see we have delete and click and drag it and make it a child after the insert. And you can see straight away, it has deleted our polygons. So that's basically it. Now after that, all you have to do is to add thickness to our object. So I come in here and I'll look for um, solidify. So solid, and you can see we have solidify showing already. So I'll make it a child after the delete and I can see it's giving our object thickness, right? And that's basically it. Then after that, you can create a subdivision surface in here and make it a child of the subdivision surface, right? And I think I've not tried this, but there's a subdivision, let me see. So there's actually a subdivide, let me see, you can actually even use that directly. Let me delete the subdivision surface and see if that works. You can see it works. So we can select the subdivision here, subdivide here, come down and say smooth. And that one to also gives it smooth. So basically we can even use entirely capsules without even using our subdivision surface in here. And now we can increase the iteration and we have our smoothness and all of that. So that's basically it. So from here going, it's procedural, right? Because it's, um, it works like deformers, you can create, let's say, a null object, select all of these, make it a child of the null object, and now let's first of all delete our subdivision surface. We can now just apply our platonic to it, and you can see it works. 
right? If I select the platonic and come into segments, increase the segment, you can see everything goes crazy. And that's because of the chamfer. It's beveling. Now the edges, they've increased. Let me uncheck everything. Go to display, garage shading with lines. You can see there's extra edges. And now if I enable the chamfer, you can see it's beveling. It's way past each other. So let's select the chamfer and reduce the size to say something like 19, which I think is fine. And now let's enable everything. And you can see it's functioning. Everything is functioning uh, smoothly. So it can now be applied to any object you want. So I can come in here and I'll create um, my sphere. Let's say a sphere. All right, I'll make the sphere child in the, of the null and straight away apply to the sphere, right? And it will be good to have it on a geometry with fairly evenly segmented um, geometry, basically. So this, the substandard has too many points, dense points at the top here. So I'll change it, the sphere mode from standard to something like, like a sahedron. And still you can see it's intersecting. So we have to go back into the chamfer and reduce the size to like maybe 11, let's see. And you can see it works smoothly on the sphere as well. This is really, really, very, very easy to create. It could be any object, even text. I'm coming here and let me type in, let's see, X, S actually. And make I make it um, bold, right? I'll drag the sphere out, this hide it, and now the text, because it doesn't have enough segment, I'll put it in the ray mesh. So I'll come in here and I'll create a ray mesh, make the text a child of the ray mesh. Let's see the display. You can see this, um, we have enough segments here. Let's actually select the ray mesh and reduce it to something smaller to like 40%. Um, yeah, and I think this one, maybe 50 will be fine, right? Now let's make it a child of our subdivision surface. And now you can see, let's change the display. You can see it's basically working on the text. So if any time something is intersecting, it basically means the chamfer is the issue. So you have to go in and keep adjusting it. So maybe, I think the image, let's make it like the 100, right? And now let's select the chamfer and reduce the size to like, let's see, four, right? And you can see it's, basically working so that's basically it and you can use it it's procedural on other objects and after that you can make them editable and use it if you want to use it for something more interesting right i hope this video was useful and if you learned something from it i mean aside showing using the capsules you can actually create this whole thing using just nodes right and geometry uh, just nodes without all these capsules plenty of capsules you can have just one capsule that controls everything and if you're interested in how to do that one so you can let me know in the comment section and probably do a quick video on how to use just node to do something like this. Let me put the sphere back in here and I'll take off the text, right, hide it. And let me enable the sphere. So you can see we have the sphere and now let's select the chamfer to increase the size, like maybe 12. Yeah, everything is fine. And now we can now play even with the solidify. So for instance, I can increase the thickness, all right? Something, and you can see we have this interesting looking so, I mean, you can play around with it, take the insets, maybe want it to be a little bit um, more. And now, and let's first of take off the subdivision, uh, reduce the subdivision so that it's a bit faster, right? So you can see we have this interesting looking shape. And now let's take the um, insets, play around with it, look like some, um, some insect nest, be something of that sort. Just play around with everything to see what you can come up with. Um, so basically, that's the whole um, idea, and I think you learned something from this. Let's actually put the text back in. Um, I hope you learned something from this, and kindly share if you think this was useful. And if you have any question, let me have it on my Instagram, or you can ask it here under the comment section. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.